Hi, my name is Morgan Rauscher, and I sculpted this artwork out of recycled bicycle components and used a chainsaw so that you could sculpt things out of wood using video game controllers. I'm going to take you through a short video series of how I made this, and uh, hope you enjoy. In this video, I'm going to take you through how I produce these arcade game controls that are used to control the robot. I start out at Concordia University's Rapid Prototyping Lab at the Hexagram Institute, where there's all kinds of rapid prototyping machines, including a 3D printer. All of these objects were made using a 3D printer. It's really cool. This time, I've come to the lab to use a special machine, the laser cutter. In order to produce a very polished, professional arcade game controller, I use the laser cutter and I cut into an acrylic sheet. Laser cutters cut very fine, smooth edges into acrylics and produce a very professional finish. Here you can see how easy it is to extract the shapes after they've been cut by the laser cutter. I made sure to cut all of the holes needed for the arcade game buttons and controller. Next up, back at the studio, I fastened the arcade game controller surface to a wooden frame. In future videos in this series, I'll be sure to talk about all the electronics that went into the controller. Here you can see how the arcade game button fits into a pre-cut hole. I had to cut an extra hole that was left out from the laser cut, and so I used this hunting knife. As with any big project, the occasional hack is a must and will do the trick. Here I'm installing sound insulation for the haptic controller that I'll be discussing in future videos. And here's just a test I did with some light. Back at the metal shop, I was punching holes in the rooftop support system. The rooftop support system was fastened to the top of the container that contained the robot, and it was used as a swivel point for the controllers. Here you can see I built a wheel-guided swivel and it was used in combination with a steel frame system that mounted to the top of the robotic container. This system allowed for the controllers to be moved around the box and it also allowed the controls to be moved up and down for taller and shorter users. After a final adjustment to the controls, I was ready to remove the protective film that covered the surface of the acrylic arcade game controller. Using the robot the first few times was very exciting, and it was pretty cool that I could move the controls side to side and up and down. I spent a lot of time testing and tweaking the robotic controls. Playing with the robot was really fun, but it was also really easy to use. Here you can see the robot in its finished setting. There's the robot, the electronics on top, and the arcade game controllers in the front. Next up in this series, find out why I destroyed a kid's bike. Learn about the safety controllers I designed using regular door stoppers and get a look at how I constructed the robotic enclosure. Thanks for watching, stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed this video.